Oh snap, what is this? Oh. oh yeah, something's in there. Like, yeah. yeah, rip it open, go ahead. Unboxing, live. Go ahead, you can open it, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. It. I'm holding it. Crystal, you can open it too. I'm good. No, go ahead. Unboxing. Crystal's unboxing, Tyrone's unboxing, Terry's unboxing, and the last hot sauce. This is all the stuff I've ordered from Amazon. Uh, getting ready for my uh, Black Panther party. One of them is yours, I think, okay. right? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this what you ordered? Those are, those are the jewels. What is this? Wait, what did you give me? I don't remember now. Uh, that one's mine. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, kind of. What is this? Go ahead. Go ahead, Crystal. It looked a lot cooler. Oh, okay. Ah, it's my other dashiki. It's slightly less ridiculous than I thought it was. At first, when you first ordered, I was like, ah, I kind of regret getting this. It's so bright, but maybe it's not too bad. No, it's not bad, actually. Oh, that's pretty nice. That one might look good. It looks like a dress, though. That's yeah, the only it does. Uh, that, that's a long, right? That's a long one you have, right? Yeah. yeah. Is this one long also? That's the short one. Either way, it may fit me. It may not, actually. All right, now we know. Oh. I am looking for my sin. You're not gonna wear it out. That's not bad, yeah. Zip it up. I think it'll fit you actually better than it's gonna fit me. I'm looking for creeps. <laughs> are, are we really gonna roll in there? <laughs> like that? So we're all gonna wear this stuff during Black Panther. Uh, got yeah. it. I need to get a I need to get a dashiki as well. Oh no no no. Uh yeah. What do you call those things? I don't know, actually. God damn it. Oh, God. Fez? No, it's Why called something. Right? What is up with that? It's the... Uh... Uh-oh. I think it's... Yeah. That's going to be dangerous. The stomach is going to stick out. The belly button gap. Oh, they... Nope. Oh. They could have put it right there. Yeah. yeah. The weird. Let's see. Oh. Hey, we've been married for... What year is this? 2018? 2018. It'll be 14 years. 14 years? Yeah, I think they win America. 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 I don't want to say any of these things. Okay, to, to Crystal breaking up the sausage party. To uh, a nice okay, night. Sorry, man. <laughs> to, 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 sorry, no. <laughs> that, that's, sausage uh, fest. Sausage fest, yes. Have you guys seen that movie? You're watching the Weekly Wednesday What's Up, the section of my channel where I tell you everything that's going on in my life in one week. Um, this time I'm going to be off camera just because I felt, I kind of felt like doing an old school type video. I haven't done a voiceover type video in quite some time and I got a little inspired by the flashback Valentine's Day videos, which I just uploaded a few hours ago, so I definitely suggest you go check it out. And I do like the sound of my voice a lot more than I like being on camera. And I can film this naked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what you're currently looking at is me just um, looking at some apartments. And this may, in fact, be my future apartment. A few days ago was the final the final test of uh, the final look at different apartments, meaning that whatever I get in this apartment, whatever I get, whatever I see, I'm going to have to pick one of these apartments here. So that's basically what is going on right now. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot with this apartment hunting type deal. I learned a lot, particularly in the fact that 
I'm at, I'm at this really weird stage in my life, I think, uh, financially and just being a foreigner. As I kind of mentioned before in my previous episode of um, a Weekly Wednesday What's Up, I've been denied a few apartments already just because of the fact that I'm a foreigner. And it is kind of frustrating. And no matter how much money you make, you still basically will get denied. And that is crazy to me. I moved back to Tokyo about two years ago. And even two years ago, I think I'm, I might have mentioned this before. Um, I was really not happy with the apartment that I got, but I knew it was the one that I needed at that moment in time. But I swore to myself in two years that I would get like a more dope ass apartment like something that i would really be happy and something that would be inspiring and a little later you're gonna see a video like that um the apartment that i was really thinking about i was actually talking with drew uh m dog from echo mog media about this last night um in discord by, by the way check out my discord the uh, link is in the description below i love that uh food actually by the way I really enjoyed that. That's over at Musashi Kosugi. That was a breakfast in between the multiple apartments we went. And anyways, you're like, I really wanted an apartment that would really be inspiring. This was terrible, by the way. I really did not like this whip. I don't recommend it at all. It was gross. That's not a pancake. And that looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> but the Valentine's Day. Anyways, what is this? Is this the new? Uh, this is the secondary apartment. No, this was the badass apartment that I really want. And. And um, it's about $500 more, but the rooms, the rooms are just really small. And that's how I got kind of talked out of this one. I re and you're going to see why you can um, imagine why I would want this one. There's a lovely uh, Agent R-N who's showing me some stuff. It was all about the view with this apartment. It was inspiring, inspiring. And that's really what I need. I've always been a fan of getting high but i really wanted to live high up and not really low i really wanted to always live really high and a lot of the apartments um something called tower mansions you can't even do unless you're willing to buy the property and that really annoyed me you couldn't rent them out but this one was on the 12th floor my agent did a great job over there at goten um i highly recommend you uh, uh, check it out but the problem with this one the view is amazing but the problem with this one is just purely the fact that there's not enough room for me to do what I need to do when it comes to continuing my YouTube career here uh, doing VR stuff doing a lot of recordings but this view is fucking amazing you're basically paying for this space but it's unusable unworkable space for like recording you know if it rains or something like that it'd be noisy outside I would uh, essentially have to tape off that entire area and make it cut sort of soundproof so I would actually be spending $500 more a month for this apartment but then spending a bunch of money to tape off this view anyways so I could use this room. The living space was just not workable um, in the way. If I live by myself, honestly, I probably could probably manage it, but it just doesn't work that particular way um, in, in this sort of sense. And if I had a smaller bed, I probably could manage it, but not... This kitchen was so amazing. It was a little broken at the top, so I asked them to discount me like $800, but um, right there. But <laughs> they didn't go for it. So I couldn't. Um, <clears throat> this apartment, I ended up losing this battle and negotiations with the girl. Uh, but the reasonable side of me was just like, nah, you're going to be fr frustrated the entire time trying to fit this apartment into your daily life and not, you're still going to have this problem of not enough space it's great to have a bunch of people coming over but like your living your apartment. daily living spot is going to be a little difficult and i also want to film a lot of skits and a bunch of other things and that was another issue that came to mind it's great for filming skits uh the upcoming arrow flash type of skit that i'm working on here great for doing all that but and not for um everyday living and such so i i could tell this was gonna that was gonna be a big problem and you're spending more money so the other place that i'm thinking about getting it's a little more um 
normal, so to speak. And it's a little sad because I really wanted that inspiring look. That's what I was really shooting for. But unfortunately, it just feels like I'm just not quite there. Not just financially, but also in the negotiation sort of status where I can basically be like, look, hey, here's the money from YouTube. Here's the money from other sources and then here's the money for my regular job you think it's enough but it's actually it's a big it's a big deal you know maybe in america it's you can just say you know hey i get money through youtube right uh, which what little there is but you still get money through there right but um in japan i'm still tr like it's still a it's still a little bit of a uh irritants trying to um convince people that you can make a living off of this and um you can use it like i'm still proving it today like i actually had to send my bank statements to the agency so they can basically be like okay you get consistent amount of money so we can trust that you're not going to bounce and leave and it's a little diff it's a little dis uh, disappointing but well, you know it is what it is uh back in the day before i joined the mcn it might have been a little bit easier because when you get your payments directly through youtube um it says google and katakana uh so it looks a little more quote unquote japanese and it comes via yen but now i get everything through dollars in terms of YouTube and uh, Patreon and all that. So I don't know, man. It, it's disappointing because honestly, I really do want, I, I really want it to be living that high rise life. And I, it's not really that much more expensive, but uh, it's just not to be at this moment in time. And I think the other argument is the fact that when you're making, a, when you're trying to look for a 3LDK, which is a three bedroom apartment, this is what that is right here. It essentially, you know, a lot of people think this is more for what a family is looking for. But for me, it's crazy. I'm just looking for something that's uh, suitable for a recording studio, a recording room. So I can do my daily stuff, then some sort of private type of living room so I can just have my my life a little more private, separate from YouTube and such. And then something where I can set up the office with the computer, the gaming and all that. As you, you know, as you can tell, like if you compare it to a basic American house, you could put all that into one room, right? At least an office and your little studio or whatever. But you just can't do that. Like, the living rooms are so small. This was the high-rise one that I really wanted, but I couldn't get. And this is the ideal sort of view that I want. So, compromising with the apartment, I might get this kind of sticker instead here. So, and just put it on the wall, and that will be my inspiration. Shout out to Ekelmog and um, everybody else that turned up toward our streams. Uh, that is it for this week. I appreciate everything, guys. I'm going to leave you with my girl grinding the shit out of this potato salad. You had to make your own last night. It was Valentine's Day, so I hope you enjoy this video of her. She's not using her. She's not using her wrist like I taught her correctly. What the fuck is this? Anyways, um, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging out with me this, uh, for about 15 minutes here. Like, share, subscribe, and I will let y all of y'all know what's up next week. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the video, Black Panther, baby. So I should be putting up a review for you uh, after my immediate review. Uh, immediately after I see it tomorrow. I'm going. I'm headed to the base if anybody's in Yokosuka tomorrow and wants to check it out. Uh, uh, who's on base and uh, wants to take pictures and what have you not. I'll be there with the boys. Wakanda forever! Take care, y'all. I'm out. Peace.